it's Sammy Sokal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different because this is one of my most frequently asked questions and you guys keep asking me what materials I use for every drawing. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to start off with the type of paper I use. So here it is. This is the paper I use and as you guys can see this is Strathmore brand paper and this is the colored pencil paper. They make different types of paper depending on what you're using it for. They make a uh, watercolor paper, they make drawing paper, they make all kinds of different types of paper. But I always use the colored pencil paper or the drawing paper. So just say drawing right here. So this paper, I, I really like it because it's like thick. It's not too thick, but it's not like thin. So if you were to erase on it or color real hard, it won't like... The paper won't tear basically so the difference between the p colored pencil paper and the drawing paper i don't know if you guys can tell but this one is whiter than this one this is the drawing paper right here so yeah i prefer the lighter paper for like colorful drawings like colorful cars but if i'm drawing a white car i prefer this type of paper because it makes the white stand out more so yeah pretty much they're the exact same type of paper just the colors a bit different and they both feel about the same. Maybe this one feels a bit smoother, but overall they're about the same. So yeah, that's the type of paper I use. So, so yeah, so take note, this is available at like any art supply store. So yeah, this is the paper I use. All right, next I'm gonna be showing you guys what tools I use for literally every single drawing. So I'm gonna start off with the basic, basic tool. So this one I use for every single drawing. You guys might know what it is. It's just a regular pencil. So I use this to do sketches and stuff. This, uh, you always have to start off with a pencil because you can make mistakes. That's where you like, you're allowed to make the mistakes. You can erase. Yeah, just always start off with a pencil. And of course I use an eraser. This is the one I use. I mean, you can use really any eraser, but yeah, I use this one. I also always use a ruler. So you can use a, a longer ruler. This is just a six inch ruler or 15 centimeter ruler. I mean, you can use a, a foot long ruler. It doesn't really matter. But I use this one because it's a good size. It's not too big, it's not too small. So yeah, I use this one for every single drawing as well. It's good to measure out the dimensions or get really uh, nice straight lines in your drawings. So yeah. And once my sketches are complete, I use these pens. So these are really, really important for me for like every drawing. I would say these are one of the most important tools besides the pencils. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the Pigma Micron uh, pen and it comes in different sizes. The one I use the most would be the number three. I also use a number five for large drawings or I use a number one for like smaller drawings. But yeah, I use these for every single drawing. This is what I use to outline, to outline the wheels, the grill, the headlights. I just outline the whole drawing with these pretty much. So those are so important and they have a really, really fine tip. I'll show you. So yeah, that's what they look like. So next, I'll be showing you the markers I use. So my favorite marker would have to be this one right here. So this is the Prismacolor Premier, and it's a double-sided, this is a black marker. I use this marker for literally every single drawing. This is really, really good for coloring in the wheels, like the tires or the grill or the carbon fiber pieces. This is always my base color. So I use this as a base. I do not use this for the finished product. I will not color something in and just leave it with the marker. This is only for a base but it saves me so much time because if I were to do the base with pencils, it would take me twice as long. So I'm also gonna show you guys this one. This one I also really like. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. So this is a Copic marker. It's the same thing, it's black, but this one I feel like it runs out faster than this, or maybe that's just me, I don't know. But also I kind of like the tips on, on the Prismacolor more. But yeah, they're both the same. They both do the same thing. For black areas, they're both equal. I really enjoy using both. But for colors, if I'm doing like a pink base color, I'll use the Prisma color. I feel like they don't leave as many streaks. I feel like the Copic marker leaves more streaks, but maybe that's just me. 
I do not know. But yeah. So next, I'm gonna show you guys the pencils I use. So I'll show you the box first. So these are the most important pencils, I would say. It comes with 24 polychromos. So these, I believe, are around $70. I typically get them for less because I use coupons and stuff. But yeah, they're around $70, so they are pretty expensive. But I cannot do any drawings without these colors. So. The main colors I use here would be these colors. Sorry, they're really short. So I like to use the black and the white. You can tell that I use them a lot. I'll just put them there. Those are simple, just black and white. And then I use these all the time. And this is warm gray two, and this is warm gray five. So pretty much ever since I started using polychromos, these have been like my go-to pencils. These are the pencils, these four pencils I use for every drawing. The colored pencils, like regular colors, like red, blue, pink, whatever, those, I don't really use them as much, the polychromos. I mean, for those, I can really use any brand of pencils, but I always use these, and these are really good for like the wheels or like drawing in the grill. I use these for the carbon fiber. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but these were the two colors I used for the carbon fiber. So these are really, really good pencils and I use them for literally every single drawing. So if you do not have some polychromos, I definitely recommend them. And yeah, I'll put a link below as well so you guys can see how much they are and where you can get them. Next, I'm gonna show you guys this pencil. So this is just a regular pencil. I don't remember where I got it or what brand it is. It's just a regular pencil. And I use this because this also serves as like a colored pencil. It serves as like a darker gray. So if I ever need like a really dark gray or something, I'll use this. This one's only really, this one's, I'm sorry, this one's also really good for blending. So that's why I use that one a lot. All I know is that this one is very, uh, has a very fine tip like I can sharpen it really sharp and it's also very dark so that's what I like about that one and last but not least I use this so I do not know what brand this is it's like Uniball, Signo, I, I don't know I don't know if that's the brand or the name but I got this on Amazon this is a white gel pen so what I really like about this one is that I use this to like color in little white details at the very end of the drawing so I'll demonstrate for you guys how this looks if this is like a black base I'm doing like let's say the car is black right and once it's like done it doesn't look shiny right that's just regular black and you can be like oh okay well let me add some shininess to it this is how I do it so basically I don't know if this will work yet because the marker isn't dry. It, it works best if the marker is like dry dry. But see, look. You can see that that's like showing up white. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, so that's what I use at the very end. I use this at the very end. I do not use this like in the middle of the drawing because when I'm like rubbing my hand around the drawing or using other colors, sometimes the white parts can get dirty so this pen can get dirty so that's why I save it till the end but yeah this is how I do those white little details and all the shininess so if you guys ever wondered how I do that that's the pen I use so that's pretty much it those are my basic basic tools I know it doesn't seem like that many you guys are probably like thinking I use so many tools but honestly this is pretty much it this is like the basic stuff of course I use other tools for like drawing colorful cars or whatever like of course I'll use a lot more tools but these are the tools I use for every single drawing for every single sketch I cannot finish a drawing without these uh, tools right here so yeah if you guys still have more questions just let me know in the comments below or you can DM me on Instagram and I'm gonna try and make some more videos based on what you guys want to see so like if you guys comment that you guys want to see more tutorials I'll do more tutorials so basically uh, just comment to let me know what you guys want to see and I'll try and get to those uh, all your guys' suggestions real soon But anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already 
But yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching.